in the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful, distinguished colleagues, dear friends, my fellow compatriots in Portugal. I hope you are fine and healthy and secured from the threats of the fatal virus. I do hope that all of us, members of the human society, will get rid of this virus as soon as possible. Today, we are celebrating our national day, marking the 42nd anniversary of the Islamic Revolution. Last year, here in Lisbon, we could celebrate this occasion in person. But this year, due to the restrictions arising from the continued COVID-19 pandemic, we are marking Iran's National Day virtual through a series of activities in our embassy social media accounts, including this special program launched on YouTube and Facebook. I would like to say a few words on this occasion. First, Iran is a country that has had one of the oldest human civilizations in the history with a progressive governing system. 42 years ago, on days like this, the victory of one of the 20th century, century's most popular revolution was achieved and was succeeded in eliminating the tyrant and foreign dependent monarchy from the Iranian political scene. With the continuation, support and presence of the people in the social and political arena under the leadership of the late Imam Khomeini and our current Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei, it brought a system based on religious democracy to Iranian society. The people and government of Iran, despite the conspiracies and obstacles created by their enemies through restoring to imposed war and sanctions, economic terrorism, and maximum pressure, have achieved many scientific, economic, and technological achievements in the past four decades. The government and people of Iran have proudly proven in the last 42 years that wherever there is a negotia negotiation based on mutual respect and agreement with dignity, they always respect the achieved agreements and treaties and are fully committed to all obligations therein. But whenever the country faces with maximum oppressive pressure and ignorance, it inflicts an unprecedented defeat on the perpetrators of economic terrorism with maximum and heroic resistance. And whenever it is faced with aggression, it crushes and shatters the hegemony of the enemy and gives the aggressors an unforgettable lesson. Islamic Republic of Iran has played an incomparable and unique role in ensuring and promoting peace, stability, and security in the region and the world by heroical devotion at the forefront of the fight against the ominous phenomena such as terrorism, extremism, and drug trafficking and playing a high spiritual and, and paying a high spiritual and material price. In this regard, we cherish the memory of the national and transnational hero of the fight against terrorism and extremism, 
Martyr General Qasem Soleimani, and all the martyrs who sacrificed their lives in the path to ensure and promote peace and security in our region and the whole world. Islamic Republic of Iran, having a strategic geographical position, abundant natural resources, excellent infrastructure, well-educated manpower, and large market, has an untouched and large capacity to develop and expand economic and trade cooperation in all areas with other countries. As regarding Iran and Portugal relations, the two countries have been traditional partners and companions in international relations of the past and present. Relations between the two countries go back more than 500 years. Its oldness is several times more than the age of many countries in today's world and has continued consistently in the political, commercial, and cultural areas for more than five centuries. Studying these old age relations is particularly important in highlighting the fact that various issues in different historical periods over the past five centuries, including diplomacy, business, culture, and people's relation, have linked Iran and Portugal. Considering the history of more than 500 years of cultural and historical relations between the two nations, 85 years since the two countries decided to, est to establish diplomatic relations, namely in 1935, and 50 years since the opening of the Portuguese resident embassy in Tehran in 1971, the year 2020-2021 is considered a very important milestone in the relations between Iran and Portugal. In this regard, an exhibition of archival documents on historical relations and uh, the seminar uh, on 500 years of relations between Iran and Portugal were held in uh, the Portuguese National Archive of Tour de Tombo in Lisbon from 8th to 29th of October uh, 2020 with the cooperation uh, uh, and participation of institutions, scholars, and scientific personalities of the two countries, as well as uh, the Iranian embassy in Lisbon. Besides historical and cultural relations, Iran-Portugal relations in the contemporary era have also undergone a friendly and forward-looking process and have witnessed a good progress in various political, parliamentary, economic, cultural, educational, and other fields. Although at present moment economic relations are extremely affected by the United States unilateral and illegal sanctions and have been significantly dropped, but uh, relations in many other areas have been developed as the high political will of the leaders of the two countries uh, has proven this fact. Continuous political consultations at various levels, exchange of parliamentary delegations, cultural and tourism relations, which was growing before the pandemic, uh, cooperation in international forums and organizations, inter-academic relations, especially with the presence of more than 500 Iranian uh, students in Portuguese universities are forward-looking and encouraging. And finally, the six-month rotating Portuguese presidency of the Council of the European Union in the first semester of 2021 provides a good opportunity for the country to make appropriate measures and joint efforts to promote an effective facilitating diplomacy in order to revive Iran's nuclear deal 
and promote Iran-Europe relations uh, so that the uh, agreement was a successful outcome of diplomacy and effective multilateralism for Europe and the whole world. Viva Irao, viva Portugal. <laughs>